What if the galaxies James Webb has found aren't from our universe at all? What if the telescope, instead of just looking back in time, is also looking across the boundaries of reality itself, catching light from another cosmos entirely? It sounds like science fiction, but it's a question astronomers are now daring to ask, because the latest web images show something that shouldn't exist. Galaxies too big, too bright, and too ancient to fit within the timeline of our universe. And if they really are what they appear to be, then our entire picture of cosmic history could be wrong. When Webb was launched, scientists expected it to show the universe as it looked 300 to 400 million years after the Big Bang. But almost immediately after turning its golden mirrors to the sky, it began finding galaxies at redshift so extreme, so distant in space and time, that they appeared to exist only 200 million years after the beginning. That alone was shocking. But then the deeper images came in, and the story grew stranger. These galaxies weren't tiny clumps of stars. They were massive, structured, and bright, more like mature systems such as the Milky Way, the newborn struggling to ignite. According to every cosmological model we have, that should be impossible. Stars need time to form, gather, and fuse into galaxies. The laws of physics give them that time. And yet, Webb is showing us finished masterpieces painted long before the canvas was dry. At first, scientists thought the data might be wrong. Maybe the red shifts had been overestimated, or perhaps some of the light was contaminated by closer, dusty objects. But as the months passed and the calibrations improved, the same pattern kept reappearing. Each time Webb looked deeper, it found more of these ancient, impossible galaxies. The evidence was undeniable and deeply unsettling. So what are we really seeing? Let's rewind to the basics. The farther away something is in space, the older the light we're seeing. Because light takes time to travel, looking far is looking back. Webb, with its infrared eyes, can peer farther than any telescope before it, seeing light stretched and reddened by billions of years of cosmic expansion. Its mission was to witness the universe's cosmic dawn, the birth of the first galaxies. But now some researchers wonder if that's not the whole story. Here's where things take a turn toward the extraordinary. A growing group of cosmologists believe that these distant galaxies might not belong to our universe's timeline at all. Instead, they could be artifacts from another universe, light bleeding through the edges of our own cosmic bubble. Sound impossible? Let's unpack the reasoning. Our standard model says the universe began 13.8 billion years ago with the Big Bang. In that fraction of a second, energy condensed into matter and matter into stars, galaxies, and eventually us. The model has held up well for decades, but it also leaves unanswered questions. What caused the Big Bang? What came before it? And why does the universe seem so finely tuned for life and structure? One idea that tries to answer those questions is the multiverse, a vast collection of universes, each born from its own burst of inflation, each with slightly different laws of physics. In this view, our universe isn't unique. It's one bubble among countless others expanding within a grand cosmic sea. If that's true, then the edges of our universe aren't boundaries, but membranes thin regions where space-time from one universe brushes against another. And when that happens, extraordinary things can occur. Energy might leak across, gravitational waves might ripple through, and under just the right conditions, light from one universe could seep into another. Could Webb's mysterious galaxies be such echoes? Fossil light from another cosmos intersecting our own? At first, the idea sounds far-fetched, but the math behind it isn't pure fantasy. Some inflationary models of cosmology predict that bubble collisions could leave imprints in the cosmic microwave background, the faint afterglow of the Big Bang. Others suggest that gravitational signatures from neighboring universes might subtly alter how galaxies form along the outermost edges of our visible horizon. Let's imagine what that could mean. Picture our universe as a single expanding bubble inside a vast cosmic foam. 
Each neighboring bubble represents another universe, each with its own timeline, constants, and structures. Every so often, two bubbles might collide, releasing bursts of energy that ripple across both. Those ripples could create patches of overlapping space-time, brief windows through which light from one realm can cross into another. If Webb happened to peer through one of those windows, even for an instant, it could see galaxies from beyond our cosmic horizon, galaxies that formed under alien conditions far older than our own cosmic dawn. In essence, it would be the first telescope to look across the multiverse. Still, there's a practical side to all of this. Scientists are now re-examining the physics of the early universe to see if there's another way these galaxies could exist, naturally. One possibility involves primordial black holes, dense objects that may have formed right after the Big Bang. If enough of them clustered together, they could seed galaxies far earlier than expected. Another idea points to variations in dark energy, the mysterious force driving cosmic expansion. If dark energy wasn't constant, but shifted over time, it could accelerate galaxy formation in ways our models can't yet capture. In short, even if the answer isn't another universe, it still means rewriting major chapters of cosmology. Meanwhile, Webb keeps delivering. One of its recent deep field images revealed what looks like a sprawling web of galaxies just 650 million years after the Big Bang, arranged in a massive filament stretching across hundreds of millions of light years. Structures that size shouldn't have existed so soon. And yet, there they are. Ancient, magnificent, and utterly defiant of our expectations. If these results hold, then we're witnessing the universe doing something far more complex than our equations allow. Think about what that implies. For over a century, the Big Bang has stood as our best explanation for everything the origin story of space and time. It's elegant, supported by data, and reinforced by the cosmic microwave background. But like all scientific ideas, it's only as good as its predictions. And right now, the universe is outpacing those predictions. Perhaps just as Newton's laws gave way to Einstein's relativity, the Big Bang model will someday evolve into something broader, one that includes multiverses, overlapping space-times, and cosmic cycles stretching beyond what we can currently imagine. And if that happens, Webb's strange galaxies may be remembered as the first evidence, the cracks through which the light of a larger reality began to shine. It's a humbling thought. Every time we build a better telescope, the universe gets stranger. Hubble showed us that galaxies fill the cosmos. Webb is now showing us that even our definitions of time, distance, and creation might be incomplete. But maybe that's the beauty of it. The universe isn't a solved puzzle. It's an unfolding mystery. And every discovery, every faint glimmer of light from the deep past pulls us further into that story. So what do you think? Are these galaxies simply the earliest structures of our own cosmos, formed faster than we imagined? Or are we catching the first glimmers of another universe bleeding through the fabric of space-time, reminding us that creation might be far larger than we ever dreamed? Share your thoughts in the comments below.